teams, and it was two teams who really wanted to keep the the undefeated status, Harker Heights and Permian. And Aaron Gelvin is out there since it is our game of the week. Aaron, how'd that one go? Well, our game of the week certainly lived up to its name. In fact, we might have had an early game of the year candidate here tonight. The Permian Panthers and the Harker Heights Knights both walking into Ratliff Stadium 3-0. and And one of them was going to walk out with their first loss of the season. Let's quickly get to those first half highlights. Defense has been the key all season long for Mojo. And they'd need a great effort tonight if they were going to stop an impressive Knights running game. And early in this one, it was that run game that punished Permian as Knights QB Dylan Plake keeps it himself here to score, and Plake would do it again, this time on a quarterback sneak that put Arker Heights in front, 13 to zero. The Panthers would fight back, however, as Jaquan Richardson would dart his way into the end zone to have his Panthers down just one score early in the second quarter. But, the rest of the first half would belong to the Knights as Amir Washington finds the end zone here and Harker Heights continually attacked the edges of the Mojo defense, tacking on another score before halftime to lead 27 to seven at the break. Here with the quarterback of the Permian Panthers, Rodney Hall. Talk me through that final drive a little bit. You guys are going down the field seconds to go. You got to lead that team. Yeah, um, we we just had to, you know, stay calm. That's that's all we had to do. We would stay calm, you know, just run, run our stuff, you know, the, run the basics. That, that's what we did. We just had to stay calm, run the basics, and that was, that's what we did. Well, that's right. The Permian Panthers, they score 21 unanswered points in the second half. They win it by the slimmest of margins, 28 to 27. It was quite a battle in the fourth quarter of this one. A final drive by the Panthers to win the football game with just seconds to go. Rodney Hall was phenomenal tonight, especially in the closing moments. And Jeff Ellison's team, they improved to 4-0 with two straight comeback wins over very good football teams. Mojo, they are back indeed. That's going to do it here from Ratliff Stadium.